Love Relationship Show will help you reignite the emotional and physical intimacy, plus rebuild trust in your relationship or marriage. Join Greg as he helps you become more connected and satisfied in your relationship. The Art of Relationship Show is for adult audiences. Parental advisory is highly advised. The Art of Relationship Show is copyrighted. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. You will be able to see me in a little bit. I'm just trying to share a little information. <coughs> over, <coughs> over to, to my uh, actual, actual timeline, timeline instead of my instead public, public figure page. page. There, there we go. go. Welcome, welcome everybody, everybody to the to Art the of Relationships, relationships show. show. It is, it is live, live or, or uh, uh, supposed, supposed to be live, live every, every uh, Tuesday and Thursday, Thursday at 12, 12 noon. noon. Eastern, Eastern time. time. So I appreciate, so I appreciate you showing, showing up. up. <coughs> Again, Again, I'm your I'm host, host in the middle, in the middle of uh, allergy, allergy coughing and everything. And everything. <coughs> Excuse, Excuse me. me. Um, um, I'm your host, your host Greg Dzinski. I'm a fully licensed uh, professional counselor uh, and, uh, and have, have been, been for, for about, about two decades, decades yeah. Yeah. now, now and I tell everybody, yeah, yeah, since uh, for about almost 20 years now, since I was like five years old, I think, I tell everybody that because I'm not that old, right? right? But anyways, but anyways um, 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 specialize in relationships, relationships marriages, marriages, couples, couples uh, sex therapy, therapy as well, as well as, well as uh, grief, grief, loss, loss and, and trauma. trauma. So, so welcome, welcome to, the to the show. show. And, and today, today we're, we're going to be talking, talking about building, building deeper, deeper intimacy. intimacy. And it seems it like it is a thrown around term about intimacy. But a lot of people, even couples, they forget or maybe, or maybe have no, have no idea. idea, they're not, they're not taught, they're not, they're not educated, educated on how to go how about building, building intimacy, deep intimacy, intimacy in a relationship. In a relationship. And, one and one thing I want to challenge you, you. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Oh, oh, first, first. You, can you can share, share please, please. Uh, uh, share, share the timeline, the time you'll get a chance to win to my book, book uh, uh, The Relationship, relationship guide, guide, which is right here, sorry about that. The Relationship, the relationship guide, guide, Tools, tools to, ignite. to Ignite, let me back up a little bit, Tools to Ignite Love and Intimacy, you will actually get a choice of the paperback, which is right here, that is the, the real paperback that's available on Amazon, as long uh, as the ebook, or I should say, as well as the ebook uh, version that's available on Amazon.com, or you get a choice of the book, or you get a t-shirt right here, uh, which is Love Intentionally, and on the back it is Stop Hate, okay? to get rid of racism, discrimination, and let's face it, let's promote love in the world and get rid of all the hate, if possible, okay? We can do our little bit, and you can join in the discussion live below, people. Um, I have to integrate uh, Skype with this, so I'll be able to take uh, phone calls uh, again, and we'll go from there, okay? So, um, we'll go ahead and get started about building intimacy. And, and I'll do I'll a little, do a little bit, of bit of a post, post after, after uh, the live show, show as far as what do you do to build emotional intimacy in a relationship, in a relationship. okay? And then tomorrow's tomorrow show, show, I'm going to sort of throw, sort of throw a, twist a twist into the mix, or not, or not uh, tomorrow's show, show, I'm sorry, sorry Tuesday's Tuesday show, show, and throw, throw into the mix regarding, regarding you know what, you know what does, does have an emotional intimacy, does it create sexual passion and sexual chemistry in a relationship? And you know what? Maybe what I'm going to tell you might surprise you a little bit. And uh, just pay attention to next Tuesday's show. And we'll answer that question for you, okay? Or I will do the best to answer my question. So, building intimacy. If you think about what do you need to build intimacy in your marriage in a relationship and number one i guess step is what the hell is intimacy to you you know what is it to you how do you uh define it how do you manifest it what the hell is intimacy to you um i try to describe it to my, to my clients, clients uh, couples, couples, whatever, whatever when I used, I used to, to teach, teach college, college classes, classes as well, as well. You, know, you know, intimacy is, is having that emotional safety, safety. having, having you, know, you know, where you can talk, talk about anything in a relationship without getting, without getting so, so defensive and heated. And heated. I'm, not I'm not talking about being, about being disrespectful. disrespectful. We're human. We're going to disagree. We might get in an argument here and there, okay? That's relationships and that's marriage. So if you think it's never, ever going to happen, you know what? You're living a fantasy realm. My 
aspect of building intimacy is that you feel more connected than you don't. You're going to have a lot less intense arguments, disagreements, and you're going to be able to still feel respected and loved, even if you disagree, okay? All the arguments, the tit for tat is going to go way, way, way down, okay? So intimacy in a relationship is that you feel emotionally safe with each other, you know, physically, verbally, absolutely, emotionally safe with each other. You're able to talk about anything. You're able to share ideas, fantasies, um, your goals, you know, what you're missing in a relationship, you know, also, you know what, don't take each other for granted that you still feel you know, appreciative of what they do to the relationship for the love they give you and also you being appreciated for the love you give them, okay? That's, you know what, in a nutshell of how I try to define intimacy in a relationship. And when emotional intimacy goes down in a relationship, I go, you know, build Right, right off, off the, the jump. jump. You know, what do you need to feel emotionally safe with each other? That you that don't you get don't defensive, defensive, that you that don't, don't get into that tit-for-tat tit aspect. aspect. If someone, someone says, I don't feel love with you, with you they don't they start don't throwing it back, back in your face and saying, well, I don't feel loved, loved either. either. You, know you know what? Instead, can you stand your own ground and be emotionally mature and say, man, you don't feel love for me. You don't feel connected. You know what? What can I do to make you feel more loved and connected? Sounds, Sounds easy, easy right? right? Are you, Are you able, able to learn from this aspect, aspect and be, I call it emotionally mature, mature not get defensive, defensive, and be able to hold your ground in that you want to learn what your partner is feeling as well. well. This works this both ways, ways, right? I get a lot of people lot of where it's one-sided, right? right? I don't want hypocrisy in a relationship. I want to be able to go after looking at... You know, you what? know what? That it that works, works both ways. ways. That it's that not it's just one-sided one in a relationship. relationship. That, your that your partner also, also feels, feels loved and appreciated, appreciated by you, by you okay? okay? You think you about think when about you first started, started dating, dating, got together, got together maybe, maybe having sex, sex in your relationship, relationship whatever, whatever, many, many, many years, years ago, ago, maybe months, months ago, ago, that type of aspect. Do you remember when you were able just to stare in each other's eyes and just sort of you could just feel each other's chemistry. You could feel that vibe with each other and feel so safe and so in tune with one another. What happened to that? When was the last time you did that? Now I'm talking about staring into each other's eyes, not glaring. You know, glaring might be more of like a stalker does or, you know, type of thing, glaring when you're pissed at each other. I'm going to look at you in your eyes and I don't care, you're going to take it. No, staring in each other's eyes is, you know what, that you're able to show yourself to each other. You know what, the eyes, windows to your soul. I'm a huge, huge eye fetish person, person, if you will, about, about the windows, windows to your soul, and you can really read people by staring and looking into each other's eyes, okay? And when was the last time you were able to do that? And there's an exercise, you know, I borrowed many, many years ago from a Dr. Snarch is his name, um, that I, I might be dating myself, but when uh, Sexual Crucible book he wrote that came out, and, and, you know, you know looking, looking at it, it's so it's crucial. crucial. It's, it's like, like a lost, lost art, art that a lot, a lot of people, people don't get back, get back into. into. They, they sort of lost, lost track, track and sort of building build intimacy is actually, actually regaining or returning to a lot, lot of stuff, stuff that you that used to do in the past. past. Staring into, into each, each other's, other's eyes, eyes right? right? And I asked couples, when was the last time, last time you actually, actually just sat, sat stared, stared into each, each other's, other's eyes, eyes? Or you laid in bed, bed facing each, each other, other, right? right? And, just and just stared, stared into, into each other's eyes, eyes as you caressed each other. Each other. So, so, building, building intimacy involved the deep emotional connection, right? The eye-to-eye contact. And also, and also, I mentioned about caressing, about, about touch. touch. I've, I've said, said this, and it seems, seems like I'll repeat like myself a lot when, when I do I these shows. shows. I don't I mean to. to. I want to educate, educate you on how important, you know, therapeutic, therapeutic touch is as, as far as, 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 you know, sensual touch is. And sensual is not always sexual. So look at these aspects. Simple exercise. Are you able to just stare at each other in the eyes? You don't have to say anything. You can, right? But we can get more into that in a little bit and add a touch to staring at each other in the eyes, okay?
Another, another thing, thing is, is, you know, you know the, touch. the touch. How, How often, often do you embrace one another? another? How, How often do you hold hands? hands? How, How often do you, you know, just know, lay just there, you know, spoon, spoon in each other, each other or, or, you know what, you know maybe, maybe embraced, embraced in each other's, each other's arms, arms like you like used to years ago? ago. What, what happened, happened to that? that? You know what? You know what? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, the kids, the kids always, always jump, jump in the mix. The mix. You, you always, always busy, busy doing, doing the bills, bills doing dishes, dishes, cleaning up after, after the kids. kids. All, All these stuff, stuff life, life gets, gets in the way. way. But, it, but takes it takes real effort, effort and it takes it real takes intention, intention to be able to, be able to keep, keep this, this going. going. To, to, you know what, re invigorate all these aspects to keep the emotional intimacy going, going and to try, and try to rebuild, to rebuild this, this that it's that lost. lost and a lot, lot of it is thinking, thinking you know what you know what, what did what we did used to do to show each other we loved each other cared, cared about, about each other that we're there, there for each other physically and emotionally and so, so the eye to eye staring or eye to eye connection will help you you know what start catapulting the emotional intimacy in each other and it's very very difficult when you don't feel loved you don't feel desired you don't, you don't feel, feel you, know you know what, respected, respected by, your by your partner. partner. And it's, it's very, very, very difficult, difficult to stare into, into one another's eyes, eyes when you have this resentment and everything else. else. But, the but the resentment can also go ahead and help get rid of the resentment. It can help heal when you are fully open and present to your partner, meaning emotional, that you are taking responsibility for what you have done in the relationship. You know what? The wrongdoings you have, you know, the hurt you've caused your partner in a relationship and take ownership of that. That is another way of building intimacy in a relationship you know what admitting what you did wrong admitting your role in causing problems in a relationship some people are too arrogant to do that everyone throws out the word narcissistic right there's a difference that's a high extreme of arrogance but some people don't have the confidence and the guts to admit their role, their role in their, in their relationship, relationship wrongdoing or relationship demise if you will they don't they look don't at their, their role, role and, you know what, you know what how the how passion go out of the relationship. They don't they look at, look it's at, easy to blame, blame your partner, partner. But, building but building intimacy is taking true, true responsibility, responsibility. Okay. okay? True, true remorse, remorse, true, true guilt, guilt in what you have you caused have or done in a relationship. Or maybe, let's face, let's face it, what you have not been doing in a relationship. Maybe you have not been showing your partner you love them. Maybe you have, you know, sort of withheld. Physical, physical intimacy, intimacy touch, touch, hugging, hugging embracing. embracing. And part, and part of, this of this is realizing, realizing that maybe your partner, you both you feel the feel same way. way. And building, building intimacy, intimacy is getting, getting at, at the point of building this, okay? okay? That's, That's where the eye-to-eye eye contact, contact comes in because you start feeling the love for each other, other again, again without, without saying a word. word. Like, like I said, I'm going to get into this a little bit later in the show. Another added aspect to the eye-to-eye staring or eye-to-eye connection with one another, okay? So get back to the touching with one another. Get back to what you used to love and maybe what you would like again now to build safety. You know what? You know what? I, don't I don't want to want touch you because you had an affair. affair. You, get you get me? me? This, this is, is very, very damaging. damaging. I get that. I get that. Very, very, very damaging. damaging. It just, like, just I like I said, it shatters, shatters everybody's, everybody's world, world and, expectations. and expectations. The one that was hurt and betrayed. betrayed. It's, it's not, not easy. easy. So, so these, these parts, parts will help build, build intimacy and actually, and actually show that you care that you actually hurt your partner. Not that you got caught big difference, difference that you actually, you actually hurt, hurt your partner, partner. and they can, and they see, can it see it in your eyes they can, they can feel, feel it in your, in your voice, voice and they can, and they can see, see it in your aspects, aspects. Oh, oh oh no, oh, no. hey Trayvon hey, thank, thank you for letting, letting me know, me know. Um, I'm, I'm echoing, echoing and I have, I have no, no idea, idea why let me see sorry Trayvon hopefully that took care of it let me know Trayvon if I'm still echoing I definitely don't want that um, there was updates in the broadcasting software, um, so hopefully that took care of it. I appreciate you chiming in, Treva. Um, hopefully there won't be any more echoing going back. Um, please let me know if there is, okay? But looking at the aspects about going... Um, oh, great. Thanks, Treva. Okay, it was a quick fix then. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I don't want the echoing. But going back into the elements about 
Um, when was the last time you actually deep kissed each other? I get a lot of couples, men and women, believe it or not, yes, men complaining that their girlfriends or wives, they don't kiss passionately anymore. You know what? We used to keep, I used to love kissing, you know, one another. You know, we used to kiss all the time, French kiss, freaking, you know, swap tongues and all this stuff, deep passionate kissing that, and I miss that. I long for that. And it's ironic that, uh, like I said, fellow you know, more researcher, professional researcher and sexologist, Justin Lee Miller, and I mentioned him throughout the show, did a lot of research on, a, I forget how many, a lot of different cultures and that you know, romantic kissing or deep passionate kissing wasn't part of you know, romance in a lot of cultures. And I'm like, damn. You know what? I'm I love passionate kissing. Okay, I love feeling that connection. If you know what that connection is there, if that you know you read each other, are you able to know what each other likes when you deep kiss? And some people don't read one another well enough, and it sort of loses its flavor, if you will. So you'd be able to go after. When was the last time you actually deep kissed? Okay, and uh, like I said, the complaints come from when. You know what? Even having sex, they don't. The kissing isn't there, and I get a lot of complaints for men and women. Like I said, that the deep, passionate kissing is not there even during sex. What about when you're not even having sex? When was the last time you just maybe sat on the couch and you know what? Kissed each other, deep, passionate, and not just like a, you know, a peck on a cheek. It can be better than sex or lead to really hot sex. Well, I'm glad. Trayvon, I'm glad you mentioned that it can lead to really hot sex. That's great. Um, it can be better than sex? Meh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I like, you know what, I love deep, passionate kissing. And yeah, I love it leading to sex too, but it doesn't always have to lead to sex. So this is another form or another avenue to be able to go after um, building intimacy. You know what, when was the last time you passionately kissed each other and maybe it didn't lead to sex or you know what it wasn't sexual in nature if you will or you know involved in sex we'll say that when was the last time you did that also I tell people all the time about building intimacy there's like I said life gets in the way kids get in the way they jump in between you they want your attention life get wants your attention friends family all this stuff gets in the way when was the last time that you actually sat down and sort of you relearn one another, right? There's a lot of research out there. When you ask each other's questions about their goals, their lives, what they want, you know, what, what would it take to feel loved, to bring more passion, to feel more respected, you know what? To have more fun in a relationship. When was the last time you actually asked each other questions and you maybe stopped asking questions after six months you started dating or six months after you got married or lived with one another? All the questions come about, oh, did this bill get paid? Did you do the dishes? Did you stop at the grocery store? That type of thing, right? Uh, whose birthday party, family birthday party are we going to this weekend? All that stuff, right? Those are the questions. What do you do to go back and start asking each other questions that are very individual and very specific. Tell them, what are your goals? When was the last time, you know what, you thought about having sex in a different position? You know what, what maybe star do you admire the most? What's your, you know, man, have you listened to any new music you like? All these stuff we think we know, but we evolve, we grow, we change, and we stop asking people questions about themselves, right? There's a lot of research of Dr. Aaron's A-R-O-N, or just say A-R-O-N, there we go. Dr. Aaron's research, 36 questions, and there's even phone apps out there um, that are based on his research about building intimacy and feeling connected with people, and that's by asking them questions. When was the last time you asked your partner, do you feel loved? Do you feel sexually satisfied? And also, if you do ask these questions, ooh, what would the answer be? Right? What if the answer said, no, I'm not? Do you get defensive? Do you shut down? You know what? I would love it. You know what? If everybody would be able to ask, you know what? What would it take for me to be the best lover you've ever had? To be the best 
you know what partner you've ever had how many people would have the guts and confidence to actually take the hit that is building intimacy that is building emotional safety when you can ask questions and you're actually not defensive when you hear the answer where you know what maybe you're not the best I've ever had sexually what would you do to be able to build that up you know what maybe you don't make me feel as emotionally safe as I have felt before in the past Oh, man, then you get mad. See if I ever help you. And uh, it blows up in an argument. That kills intimacy in a relationship. That tells you, it tells your partner that. You know what? You can't be open and honest with each other because the other person's going to be hurt. They're going to be, and it's going to lead to anger or you're going to shut down. That kills emotional intimacy and ultimately it will destroy your relationship. I don't want that. I'm looking for avenues to help you build in this intimacy and I'm trying to help you do it. I'm not saying it's easy, okay? This is where I want you to have the guts and the confidence to be able to say, you know what? I want to be the best lover you've ever had. I want to make it more emotionally safe for you to talk to me about anything or ask me anything and I'm going to work at trying not to get defensive. It's one of those adage, right? When stereotypical lady asks, do I look fat or do I look good in this outfit? And the boyfriend, you know, will say, well, you know what? No, you actually look like crap in it. And, oh, my God, see if I, you're a jerk, you're an ass, and all this stuff starts happening. And it teaches him, right? I ain't going to say anything. I'm going to lie to you. I don't want anyone to lie to you, but you get where I'm going with this. Are you able to have the courage and the confidence to actually have true emotional intimacy in your relationship or in your marriage? And what would it take to get back on that path? That's why I'm doing the show episode to help you get back on the path and try to come up with some ideas to get back on there. So just to revisit, you know what? Just stare at each other in the eyes. And how awkward will you laugh at each other? Will you actually feel the deep, the passionate connection that you want to feel with each other? Or will you laugh like uh, a little child that it's awkward, right? It's you. It's uncomfortable for you because you can't handle that intimacy. You can't handle the deep eye-to-eye contact with each other. And it's very difficult, especially, and I don't want anyone faking it, if you don't feel that connection with your partner. It's very, very difficult to do. Always looking away, you know, glancing away or anything like that. Get back to touching. Get back to deep, passionate kissing one another, Okay. Ask each other questions, big time. These are ways to build intimacy, and it's not about questions about the bills, the dishes. You get me. I've already said that, okay? Talk about expectations, what you want, and those elements, okay? Another avenue, I'm going to go back to the eye-to-eye staring at one another, or eye-to-eye connect, connection building exercise, okay? There is another thing. When you're doing this exercise, okay, can you take turns and tell one another what you love about them? Would that be awkward for you? You know what? I love your a great mother, or a great wife, a great husband, uh, whatever it is. That I love how you take care of business. I love how you touch me, kiss me, whatever it is, okay? That you're charitable, that you're whatever it is. Would you be able to share what you love about each other as you are actually staring in each other's eyes. Think about that. Think about the depth, the deep intimacy that that would build and help promote growth and evolution and a deeper connection in your relationship. Start trying it, okay? There's one other quick little exercise that um, goes on. And when was the last time you actually held each other, embraced each other? Just hold each other, embrace each other. You can stare and incorporate that also in the, you know, staring into each other's eyes. Absolutely. You can embrace it, and it's hard when you embrace each other, but can you hold each other and just allow each other to feel each other's breathing, the heartbeat? Would you be able to do that? Well, I can't do that. My partner don't have a heartbeat, Greg. No, doesn't have a heart. And I'm like, you know what? Stop. <laughs> allow each other to feel this and allow each other to actually feel that connection that you have with one another again. Feel each other's breath. Feel each other's heartbeat and breathing. 
all those aspects, okay? So hopefully these will be able to help you connect on a deeper, more intimate level. And also, you will feel a lot less tense with each other. You can actually start laughing and joking with each other when you start feeling more at ease with one another and feeling that deep, intimate connection. And that's part of right? The deep intimate connection is you can joke and laugh with each other. You can read each other as far as knowing, you know, what is, you know what, disrespectful to your partner when you are laughing, joking, what's off limits and what's not. And you can have more fun with each other. Now, like I said, I am going to talk about next Tuesday about does emotional intimacy alone trigger sexual chemistry and sexual passion? You might be per surprised at the answer, and I'm going to bring this up next Tuesday. Real quick, um, you share the video on your timeline, the live show uh, episode on your timeline for a chance to win a t-shirt. Love intentionally, real quick, and like I said, stop hate on the back. Or you get a chance to win my book. It's the latest paperback uh, version I have out. It is the Relationship Guide, Tools to Ignite. Love and Intimacy is the Enhanced Edition. Like I said, that's also uh, the same book that's out there on Amazon.com. Um, Amazon also has the ebook. So I appreciate um, all your interest, all the support. I want to help as many people out there have the relationship they crave. My website is theartofrelationships.org, so check it out. And Trava, real quick, you mentioned, do they make blow-up dolls for females? Actually, they do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, they do, Trey. I'm surprised you haven't researched that, Trey. But yeah, they do make blow-up dolls uh, for females now, too, okay, with supported... Uh, junks and penises in there so <laughs> good luck okay search it out google it Trevo. you'll be all set again uh i'm greg dozinski detroit's love guru uh relationship sex specialist fully licensed professional counselor in michigan metro detroit area i appreciate everybody peace and love to everybody out there everybody take care bye bye